In September 2009, six young people living on the streets in Sierra Leone agreed to take part in the Street to Street project. They were Balak 16, youngest 14, and Timberland 15 in the port area. And Marie 16, Emmanuel 13, and White Boy 15 in the Black Street Gang, Central Freetown. The idea was that they would be helped back into education and off the streets and students in the UK would follow their journey via weekly videos and online exchange. When we first met Marie, she lived on the street with the Black Street Gang. Yeah, at times she sleep at the cars. So this guy, she really, she really needs help. Her parents are dead and there were no other relatives to take care of her. Shortly after starting Street to Street, she became pregnant. She found a home with some other women but was forced to leave again. And for a while she was back on the street living in this car with her boyfriend. And then Street to Street found her a small room where she still lives. The baby was born in May. A quick labour and easy birth. Marie was lucky. Sierra Leone has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world. But she had no problems. No, I like a baby. It's not easy to give birth to a baby. I practice to, to, to watch him, but I do not understand. He is so slimpy. Baby Michael had a Muslim naming ceremony. So, yeah, you start He's currently looked after by someone during the day and Marie goes to school. But the baby's long-term care and Marie's ability to continue with school are in doubt if she can't pay for childcare. Emmanuel was also living with the Black Street Gang. Presently, he was sleeping on the street with us. Because of our stepmother, she really might eat me. He was 13 years old when we met and his parents are dead and he was on the streets for seven years. We quickly found him an aunt to live with, but it didn't last long. He moved to another aunt and then another, and now lives with an uncle, which seems to be working out. He helps his uncle on his stall. Like Marie, he went to classes for two hours a day to prepare him for returning to school, and now he attends school full time. White Boy had been on the streets for three years, his parents are dead and he has no relatives. He had very little schooling. He tried going to classes, but it was too hard for him. And gang leader Shagwan tried teaching him for a while. Now he's in school, but in a class of much younger students, which is difficult for him and unlikely to last. You ready for dinner at the school system, ba? Yes, sir. But why you would they walk out with you to the look you appear and say you look like? So you go ready for comport yourself now, yeah, so? Yes, ma'am. You sure? Yes, ma'am. There are no provisions for special needs in Sierra Leone. And this a little staff room. Balak was on the streets for five years. His parents are dead, but he does still have a grandmother, but she cannot afford to look after him. He lives at the port, where he can earn some money carrying bags. When I assist them, I take them into the ferry. When I take them to the ferry, they will give me some to And he me. used to sleep in the abandoned passenger waiting room. Normally, this is where we can sleep. We found him somewhere to sleep sharing with three others, and he's in school. His favourite subject is French. He's nicknamed Balak after a Chelsea footballer and loves to play football. Timbaland also lives in the port area and carries bags to earn some money. He said he was homeless, but it turned out he had a sister and aunts who he lives with. They're very poor and saw taking part in street to street as a way of getting some support. This is where you sleep. Yes, sir. Yeah, in the veranda here, the balcony. Yes, yeah. sir. Where did the girls sleep? I sleep inside here. Somewhere? Yeah, at the corridor. He is attending school. Youngest was the third living in the port area. Youngest's mother is dead and his father abandoned him. He has a stepmother but they do not get on. Youngest has been on the streets for two years and when we met he slept on a market store. I usually sleep over there at that table at night. He was in constant trouble with the police. 
after a while he slept on the floor of his stepmother's storeroom and then we found him a place sharing with two others. This ended when the man he stayed with got a new girlfriend. Your level of education from one. Now from one you did and which you been to do all along. Nobody do nothing. Nobody do nothing again. And just the street. He started classes but got into trouble for fighting and ended up back in prison. We got him out of prison and he's about to start school but trouble has a way of finding youngest and his accommodation is uncertain but right now he's trying hard to make it work. Situations can change overnight in Sierra Leone. Your shack could be washed away in the rainy season or you might get malaria. Nothing can be regarded as long term and there are no social services to offer support. But for now, all six street to street youth are currently off the streets and in some kind of education, but they remain very vulnerable.